my friends, it's Sally Clarkson today, and I'm so excited to tell you about a book study that several of my friends and I are going to be doing online with you. The book is Dancing with My Father, and I wrote this book several years ago because I wanted to be an encouragement and a, an inspiration, maybe a, a person who could really touch into the hearts of women who are struggling with some of the same issues that I was struggling with. I am a Pollyanna at heart. I'm a little girl who loves to see the delight in life. I love to love people. I love to taste things. I love to dance. I love to see the beauty in creation. And yet, if your life is like mine, and I know it is, it was all of the burdens and the struggles of living in a fallen world, of having uh, you know, sinful children and difficulties and Christians who disappointed you and having hospitalizations and wrecks and fires in our home and floods and having other friends who did the same thing. And so I was sitting one day having my quiet time and I was praying and I remembered, and I talk about this in the book, a moment in which I was a little girl and probably my parents didn't have a babysitter or something, but um, my mom let me get dressed with her. She was dressed in this beautiful uh, blue chiffon uh, evening dress and it was probably a very special occasion and she put rouge on her on her cheeks and, and lipstick on her lips and she put a little bit on mine as well and she dressed me up in a beautiful little dress and took me to this dinner that my father and her were invited to and at that dinner at one point my father came over to me and he said would you like to dance with me princess and I don't have a lot of memories like this when I was a little girl my family story is a whole other thing but as I was having my quiet time that morning, it was as though the Lord said to me, you know what, I understand that sometimes you're depressed and that you're overwhelmed and your heart can be broken and that darkness sometimes fills your room. But I want to be the father who holds you in my arms, who whispers the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, who loves you, who will help you learn how to dance, even in a world that is dark and difficult and challenging. And so I hope you'll join with me. I've had so many letters from sweet mamas recently who also were going through struggles in their lives with children, with divorce, with remarriage, with bills. And um, I thought, I wish I could be an encouragement to them and just let them know that it is possible, even in this world, this world where Jesus said, in this world you have tribulation, to take courage. It is possible to find how to walk in the power of the Holy Spirit, how to bring light and beauty into your world, even in the midst of darkness. And it's not a book about being a Pollyanna or ignoring the difficulties. It's a book about heaven, eternity, kingdom thinking, about being an overcomer, about how you picture yourself. Uh, are you a redeemer? Are you someone who lights a candle in the darkness for others to see the love and grace and beauty? of the truth of our Christian life. And so I hope you'll join me, and you can read here to find out all of the details of what's coming up. And many of you know me, and my desire has been to produce the kinds of books and materials and blogs and articles and conferences that can help women stay fast and hold fast to the Lord and live this life that is meaningful. And so in light of that, uh, I'm going to be giving away again, because of so many requests, uh, three hours of mentoring, one to three different people, where you can just talk with me, I'll pray with you, I want to answer questions. And in order to enter into this contest, we want you to help us spread the word about our blog, about our materials. And so if you would uh, add us to your RSS feed, I take joy.com, thebettermom.com, momheart.org. If you would tweet about this book study, if you would join the Facebook page, all those ways are, are ways to have entry into this uh, great giveaway. And I know that my friends are also going to be giving away um, a couple of books for Dancing with My Father. So join us and listen to us, tell your friends about it, and we're going to walk together through the issues of how to become a woman who has light in her heart and hope in her heart and brings light and beauty to a fallen world. And we're going to learn what it means to dance and listen to the tune and the voice of the music of your Heavenly Father and to know 
how much he adores you and loves you and sees you. So join us. I can't wait to see you in this study next week. Bye.